This is out of my Python library. This is a simple bubble sort. So if I have to sort something quickly and I don't have too many elements, a bubble sort's okay. It's not the best sort, but it's okay. Uh, for Python 3, and this has no efficiency code, I've got another one that's more efficient. Uh, so first of all, we're going to import the random. Uh, this allows us to, most of this up here is so we can create a random set of numbers to sort. So this doesn't really have anything to do with the bubble sort, but I need something to sort, so I'm creating my own list. So this is random seed, random numbers, so we're going to have numbers between 0 and 2560, and they can be duplicated, by the way. Uh, this is part of the sort array, so this is where I'm going to sort things. The maximum rows are 10, so yeah, we're, this is not very big, it's just a quick example, and then the limit maximum rows. So here's where I create, I fill the list with random numbers that I'm going to sort. And so it's from I until the limit that we set here. Uh, the maximum rows, maximum rows was 10, so it's going to go from 0 to 10. And sort array dot append, so I'm just going to create this list and I'm going to append random numbers onto the end of the list. Uh, and then I'm going to print it. And so that's this part. Just create the array, fill it, and then print it out. Okay, so here's the actual sorting. And if you don't know how bubble sort works, what happens is the bubble sort goes down a list. So this is my unsorted list. It looks at the first number and then it looks at the second number. If the first number is bigger than the second number, it switches places. And then it just goes through the whole list doing that. And then it just keeps repeating that over and over until the whole list is sorted. And that's all that's happening. So not terribly efficient because it, there's a lot of repetition, but again, it works pretty well and it's quick and dirty. As you can see, this is the whole sort routine right here and it's rather small. Okay, so we're gonna go for, we have got two uh, loops here and we gotta do this because we're gonna keep looping over and over again. We go through this one time and then we gotta go back, we gotta go through it again and again and again until it's totally sorted. We've got the outer loop and then we've got this sort flag and what happens is it'll come back up here it'll see if the sort flag has been set and if not it'll continue to execute this row or sorry this loop. Okay so we go through here we get our not sorted flag equals one for row in range of 0 to limit minus 1 limit was our number 10. If the sort array row is greater than row plus 1 then we're gonna swap that's all we're gonna do so this simply swaps the two two values of row and row plus one and that's it and then it comes back up here and does that over and over again uh, and then it jumps back to the beginning and starts up here and so on and so on so uh, very very simple uh, idea and then when we're done we're going to print it out and then we're going to say done i've got a comment down here that shows how this works uh, so the first pass uh, for example, if I have numbers 4, 3, 2, 1, it will flip these like this, and I'll end up with 3, 4, 2, 1, then I'll end up with 3, 2, 4, 1, and 3, 2, 1, 4, and the second pass will be 3, 2, 1, 4, starting 2, 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 3, 4, and continues until it comes down to the last pass, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's it. Okay, so let's run it and prove that it actually works push the button. Okay, so here we have, uh, these are obviously unsorted, they're just random numbers. You can see clearly that the first two are, you know, not in range, the first three, the first four. Okay, so here it comes out, 131, 313, 449, 1159, etc., etc., until it's totally sorted, and then it prints done. Okay, so that's it. Very simple routine if you need to do a quick and dirty sort. Uh, just a few lines of code and you can sort, uh, you know, smaller numbers. It's not efficient for very large arrays and uh, large uh, sets of numbers, but for small sets of numbers and it's quick and dirty and it works well. Okay, well that was it for sorting. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your Python programming.